It's no secret that we live in an age of instant gratification. Solopreneurs and creators can struggle with creative fatigue when efforts aren't rewarded immediately. This video is for you if you're ready to learn strategies to work more efficiently to avoid exhaustion and overwhelm with less effort. The reality is we all struggle with burnout and that feeling of putting out so much effort for what feels like nothing. I'm gonna give you a peek behind the curtain at two of my best practices for working more efficiently to avoid burnout and to feel refreshed and ready to create each day. In this series thus far, I've shared tips and strategies on staying in a creative mindset, setting boundaries, time management, and dealing with critics along the way. All of those strategies will help to keep you out of burnout. If you haven't yet watched those episodes, go do that first and then come right back here. Here's how to maximize your efforts using Google Search Console. This is one of my best kept secrets. Midway through 2019, I started to notice that every month around the same time, I'd see an incredible spike in the traffic on my blog. I dug into Google Analytics to see what was driving this traffic. I learned that one specific topic on WeWe was trending every single month and my site was starting to rank in the top three spots for that particular topic. Up to that point, my content strategy was pretty hit or miss. I'd write about things I hoped my audience would be interested in, but nothing to this point had been getting that sort of validation. I learned that it takes about six months for new content to start properly ranking in Google searches, and that one lesson gave me an idea. What if I took old blog posts that hadn't ranked well and looked for opportunities to update them with keywords from those posts that were trending each month? my entire strategy shifted. Instead of wearing myself out, constantly churning out new content, hoping something would hit and feeling let down when it didn't, I started working in a brand new way. I committed to writing a new post once a week focused on the categories I now knew were the top performers and I dedicated the rest of my work time to giving old content a facelift. Here's how I know what content topics to focus on and what content needs to be reworked. Go to Google Analytics, then go to Acquisition, Search Console, and Landing Pages. Change your date filter in the top right to the past six months. You can do more or less depending on the age of your blog. Then add an advanced filter to include average position of greater than 10, and another with average position of less than 20. After doing this, you'll have a list of your articles that rank in position 10 through 20. That is the second page of Google search results. These are the articles you want to spend your time and your energy on. Pushing an article from the second page of Google to the first page will have a dramatic increase in your page views and potential monetization opportunities. Depending on how many articles you have and how old your website is, you may wanna factor in third and fourth pages too. The goal is improvement. If you have an article ranking in the top three to five spots on the first page, leave it alone. That post is your diamond. Model future posts off of that one gem. To update your older posts, research the keywords in your top performing posts and see where you can expand on those keyword topics in your older posts. If there's a topic you'd like to rank for but aren't yet, consider what information would benefit a reader and then take a look at posts on other sites that are ranking for that topic and see what keywords you can bring into your new content. Today I have an entire blog post series that aligns with the topics I discovered I was ranking for. Here's the second method I live by to help me prioritize and beat burnout. I call this strategy Mindset Shift CEO $3 to 30K. Here's how it works. The goal is to assess everything you're doing and decide, is this a task that is earning me $3? Is it something that has the potential to generate 30K? or does it fall somewhere in between? Start by looking at your calendar and writing down every single thing you've done for your business that week. Next, assign a dollar amount to each task. How much could you potentially earn for each of the tasks on the list? Now, rank the activities. Activities with the most money-making potential go to the top. 
Lastly, make a list of any activities that aren't on the list that could help to elevate your business significantly. Here are some examples of activities that could be on the $30,000 list. Launching products or services that align with your top ranking blog posts, negotiating better brand deals, automating your ad revenue. Using this system will move you into a mindset of efficiency and monetization and will keep you off the hamster wheel of constant creation only to find that what you've dedicated so much time and effort to isn't paying off. These methods will ensure that the work you're putting in will have the highest payoff and reward. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and this entire Creators Insights series. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.